I know you definitely weigh more than me. See, he's, he's breaking everything, he's so big. One of the biggest problems that I ran into when it comes to laser engraving and even wood carving is finding somewhere where you can put these big desktop lasers. I want to give you guys some simple solutions when it comes to picking out a work desk. As I was looking around for the best possible solution for a work desk, it happened to be these Husky tables, which you can get at Home Depot. And I will go ahead and get this out of the way. I do not hold any type of affiliation with Husky or Home Depot. Home Depot actually turned me down. Can you believe them? <laughs> anyway, I'm still gonna promote their product because it's awesome. But you can see that I have my diode laser on here and my other ones over here on this side of the room, I have my desktop lasers. I also have my flex shaft wood carving equipment, which is clamped to this table. Let me answer one of the biggest questions that I get. Why would you buy one of these rolling desks instead of building a stationary desk for cheaper? Well, I will tell you. Number one, this is very portable. If I move or I change my studio location, I can wheel this out and get it into the back of a truck. If I have a stationary desk, that thing is set in place and I can't do a lot with it. Another reason why I chose to go with these desks is that I can adjust the height. So if I'm sitting and I'm getting tired, I can just start raising this up and I can stand and start working here, whether I'm carving or I'm working with my laser engraver. That feature alone really sold me on this desk, but now let's look at the quality. One thing I really like about the Husky desks are the butcher block tops. These are just really sturdy and I can mount things underneath it if I wanted to. And they come in different varieties, like these two in front of me do not have any drawers. But this one right here has two. This is nice for storing smaller equipment and every bit of the space is utilized. As you go down to the frame, you can see that it is made with all metal. And the crossbar that you see, the support bar in the middle, this is one of the biggest reasons I chose this desk apart from this standing feature is because this crossbar adds a lot of stability to the table because when you are laser engraving and the gantry is going back and forth, it can shake the table and this really helps reduce the wobble. And also when I am wood carving, I like to be stable here because I'm, I'm moving around and everything. And when I lock the casters on this table, it isn't going anywhere. For my main wood carving setup, I use a 62 by 24. And for my other general purpose desk right here with my diode lasers, I use a 53 by 24. So without going into too much detail, that's why I chose to go with the Husky desks. Now let me share some tips and tricks with you when it comes to these Husky desks and things I've done to this to make my life easier. Tip number one is to get you some wire management hangers for underneath your desk. These were $10 or cheaper on Amazon and I drilled them to the bottom of the desk here. And what I use them for is, like I said, wire management. So I can have my wires there. And I also have my 40 watt power brick in here as well. Or if I'm using this desk for something else, I will put all of my wires. At one time, I think I had three or four power bricks. And if this desk is up against a wall, you know, a lot of people would just like let it hang down. But when you are using a big expensive laser like this or any laser, you want your area to be clutter free. And if I were to put this against the wall, I would still have this because those wires hanging down just looks nasty and sloppy. And I like to have a really clean workspace. And as we go to the right, right here, I have my surge protector. And this specific brand is a trip light. A lot of surge protectors will have a place in the back for you to mount onto some screws. So I have this mounted right into the bottom of this table with a 24 foot cord going that way. This is a trip light brand, which was around $47. Pretty expensive, but this gives us the most jewels and is well known for their protection policy and how good they are. And when you're working with a very expensive piece of equipment, you need to invest into something like this. Another thing I got is these magnetic hooks. This is a Gator brand and this sticks on the inside and the outside of my frame and I can hang things here. And I think this is a 25 pound little magnet, but this is super handy for different types of stuff. If I ever run into a problem, I can put a cord on here or hang a little bag or something like that. That way I can keep all of my tools and everything in the same place. I also have hooks on the other side of the frame for hanging tools or other miscellaneous items that I need so I can keep everything consolidated. And I actually got these hooks on sale and I have them everywhere. 
These were regular, like $25 and $30. Got them on sale for $1.70 at, by their choice, once again, my unaffiliated Home Depot. Aww. Screw you, Home Depot. Another tip I have for you are vinyl wraps. You can order some vinyl wrap for cheap and put over your tables if you would like to change the look of it. I got this fake wood grain here and I think it looks pretty good. And the work desk supports weight up to 300 pounds and I think we weigh a little bit more than 300 pounds. Go ahead and sit on it because I know you definitely weigh more than me. See, he's breaking everything. He's so big. But anyway, no, this supports up to 300 pounds, and I think us combined together, we're a little over 300 pounds, but it's pretty sturdy. 200 pounds. Make sure you're not 250. Anyway, this is going to be the most awkward YouTube video yet. <laughs> yeah, it's holding up pretty good, guys. The price will vary depending on the size and the features that you get, like the drawers. Obviously, the ones without the drawers will cost you a lot less. I got my 62-inch version tables for about $250. No, I take it back. I got it for $230 because I found a sale. You can also see here I bought one of the Husky toolboxes, which has the desk on top. And this is also really handy for my needs because I have so many tools and accessories. So in conclusion, should you build your own station? stationary work desk or buy a portable desk like the Husky. The choice is up to you. It will depend on your needs. As far as my needs, I'm moving stuff around constantly and I know I will probably be moving in the future and these desks will stay with me for a lifetime. So these are a purchase that I have not regretted yet. I hope this video helped you guys make an educated decision. I know this is simple and it's common sense to some people, but when you start looking at spaces and you have big lasers like this and different equipment that you're working with, it helps to kind of talk through this stuff. So I hope you found value in it. I'll talk to you later.